Welcome back everyone to my fantastic two-pronged assault on both the Priestess of the Light and the neutral monsters guarding the Mystic Portal. I've just sent my attack, let's see how they retaliate. Anna the Benign sacrifices her own ship in a very shocking display of brutality. And yes, she pummels my guys with her set up magic towers. That's pretty fantastic. Lichton's putting up its own valiant defense against the encroaching hordes, and the neutral monsters guarding the portal do I to do a fantastic job in killing my high blade master. I sure hope he does not die. That will be very tragic if he does. Oh goodness me. Oh goodness me. Oh goodness me. Do not die, Mr. Highblade Master. Because my entire offensive force will be nothing without you. Your Excellency, someone has humbly requested your aid. This is kind of dangerous. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to deal with this, but fortunately Mr. Highblade Master is extremely resistant to the ogre's massive melee attack, so despite how strong he is, he has the ability to defend himself against that relentless assault. Plus, with the constant backup from my Valiant Elven Archers, this should be no issue to deal with. The demons are proving to be extremely frustrating to deal with. And I do believe it's time that we actually did a strategic withdrawal away from the demons. At least until I can mount some sort of fantastic counter assault. Since Mr. High Blade Master just got training in improved maneuverability, look at that massive list of perks. He now can wander straight through the swamps without any hindrance to his movement. Fantastic. Will my force in the north be able to conquer the Mystic Portal? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. Back in the town, we shall continue building sensible buildings within the correct places. Krom wants us to build a temple to Krom. He will give us um, additional gods relation to him and give us a group of Krom's house cars. What's your relationship with the goddess Kryptia? Ah, so you are kind of sort of allied with Kryptia. So doing your quest is actually beneficial to me. It's a very tough quest though. He wants me to build a temple to him within 30 turns. Which means that I need to get a city built next to some holy grounds and build a temple within 30 turns or else I fail. This is going to be a little bit trickier than I thought. How am I going to do this? I could direct some of my forces from elsewhere to conquering the holy grounds, but whether or not that will be successful is a different story, mostly due to the fact that it's going across water. And as I approach, the elementals will just bombard me before I get even a chance to land. Although looking at this land, what I might be able to do is, since I'm not currently enemies with um, Mr. Rukshar, I could use his land as a transitional place. I could s send my guys across his land and send an assault from the west. Sorry. East, west. No, I. This direction. From the left. So that seems like a pretty good idea. Let's send two of our settlers this way in preparation to build some buildings next to the holy grounds. I also need some forces to do that. Which forces am I going to dedicate to that assault? As of yet, I do not know. Although I do want Lichton to be mine, so what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to cast, if I had the mana for it, raise the land here. And then use that brand new platform to move my mages onto it. And then attack Lichton from a safe from safe distance. Without fear of retribution, due to the fact that he cannot cross water very easily. There are even more skeletons which my brave paladin rat prince needs to take care of and is actually being really slow about it. So hurry up with that! You are required to defeat my enemies, but you're not doing so. You need to be faster. And this assault is pretty much doomed to failure. So, let's see if I can actually get this done. If I can kill Goldale down to a reasonable level of destruction, then I might be able to take it over. I'm concerned with my warriors getting killed. But, they're just cheap warriors. I can build some more. Let's go recruit some more warriors and warriors in Nicholas Landing in preparation to continue this assault. Ah yes, I've got some elven archers which I was going to send this way, but now I believe they'll be responsible for killing the elementals over in this direction. If it's possible to land up here, although if I remember correctly, there was a lot of ogres, so that may not be an option. I need more shipyards. I need to recruit more ships. But I do not have the money or the means to do that. Since those guys are content with not attacking me, I'm going to send my skeletons across to do something. And I can recruit a Dracolich and Carrowing. It looks like it has finished its Dragon Tomb and now I can recruit one of those. A Dracolich is an elite flying fighter. It has 35 hit points, it has 21 attack power which is a combination of elemental magic and death magic. It says is a Dragon Scales, Deadly Breath, dead and skeleton perks but it does have an extreme resistance to life magic it has a uh, resistance to an elemental magic so maybe a dracolich will be monumental in stopping those uh what's it called the greater earth elementals maybe they also cost 800 gold so i do not foresee me affording them anytime soon Unless I do not spend money on anything and gasp, save up some money. I was going to head this way, but now I'm actually thinking it's probably a better idea to not attack the portal. Since I just got a brand new quest. New objective in 30 turns. Let's get up a temple to Chrome. Can I do this? Is it possible? It's not something I want to fail. Let's see if I can get this done. My vampires are an extremely useful unit which do not actually care very much about being attacked. They can regenerate as much hit points as they lose, which is very helpful. And my poor mages are under siege from the city. Demons are moving up to attack my vulnerable non- elemental resistance units and Lichton is being a pain the new spell research is it's complete. time to renegotiate my attack I'm going to send high blade master this way and disembark him onto the waterways and send him east or west or the left direction the Chosen Warrior is slowly going to make his way this way. He can't move very fast through the lands, neither can the Stubborn Knights. But I can rest the Stubborn Knights to be confident that they won't die. Let's move the Elven Archers out of there. 
and we've researched water walking, which is extremely valuable and something I could actually throw on my High Blade Master instead of having him go into a boat. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Water walking. I do not have the mana to cast that. What a shame. So I'll need to wait until I do. This is my massive food generation place, and since there's no more food generation buildings in that, I think I'm just going to build farms in here. Just to make sure I extract the most amount of food from feast farms as possible. Attack those ballsy ghost wolves which are sailing on a boat and sink them before they have the opportunity to cause me some strife. Um, the assault on Lichton is going not terribly great, but I am still doing a reasonable amount of damage to it. Let's level up our mages, get some additional damage, throw massive attack onto it. Wonderful. This place can build a new building? What am I going to build? I'm tempted to build another harbour. But since this is smack dab in the middle of the desert, it looks like it's going to be perfect for a mana generation place. Something which I need to consider building. My mana... Uh, doesn't seem to be going that great. I could build a casino, but there's no real method for me to generate lots of gold here. So I'm tempted to just build another elven bungalow and use that as a new recruitment place for high level elvish units. That seems reasonable. He tries to send some boats across, which is foolhardy because they're going to get sunk. The vampires use their mystical death attack to suck the life out of Goldale. The stubborn knights here are going to retreat back to my territory. Attention. These warriors are going to maintain Attack. their assaults. And the skeleton warriors are going to march down to assist everyone involved. Let's kill those pesky skeleton warriors Ooh. before they have a chance to run away. And green bats can be very useful in scouting, so send them this way. Hunters. Send you this way. Send you there and get ready to disembark you. Hopefully he does not declare war on me. But I do believe I've got a non-aggression treaty with him. So hopefully that means he won't be a jerk and attack me while I'm vulnerable. I'll just be using his grounds to maneuver my forces. That's not, that's not that bad, is it? Oh dear. I don't think I'd be disembarking there. There are caravels ready to sink my ships. Ah yes, my vampires are completely resilient to the damage they're dealing. Unfortunately, my skeletons aren't. So that's not great. More ships, you have huh? A new spell, my lord. Not anymore, your ships are sunk. Bombard the forts and suck the life out of the town. Can I deal enough damage to it to kidnap it? She hasn't been doing that much. She hasn't been protecting Goldale. And Goldale is nearly destroyed. So what I might do is rest up my skeleton warriors, which should be able to be done, but apparently is not. So just move you there and send you to attack the castle instead. Yep, Goldale is nearly going to be mine and she has put up no resistance to stop me. Fantastic for me! 
My good thing my half-hearted attempt at attack is going surprisingly well. I guess she wasted all of her money and all those forces she just needlessly sent to their doom. Got a gold mine, a pub. Let's build a market. Let's get some more gold. And in this place, I've got a library, demonologist workshop, and a mana trap. Is there any other way to increase my research? I could build a wizard's guild for a university here, but I'm not sure if I want to pay the extra gold. I can build a harbour so I can build additional boats that way in Sunville. And my gold income is kind of sorry looking. Which is not helpful. I guess I need to consider generating some gold. And there appears to be a hero archer trying to march onto my town. But he's an idiot. And a poo-poo head. He's never going to be able to get to me <laughs> like that. I was going to send him into the water with a blessing on him called water walking. So instead of disembarking him, I'm just going to rest him up. 28 turns to complete my objective. Built another flying galleus so I can send that up to the north to take over Lichton. I can rest my wizards. Bombard Lichton! Massive critical hit brings it down to its knees. Proverbial knees. And I could use my bats to take over it once it gets weak enough, so... Instead of moving them up to scout, I'm gonna keep them there to crush it when it's got a single hit point left. Disembark some elves. And send my skeletons across here. I'm just passing through Mr. Potential Rival, so please don't shoot down my peasant settlers. Number three. They're not hurting anyone. And I researched some cler uh, built some clerics for good measure, because they can go up and provide healing. Which is what I should have done instead of resting my mages. Oh well. I guess I did not think to do that. Uh, Skipper Morgans is pretty much done on this island, so I'm going to send him up this way to perhaps protect me against that hero. Um, disembark my robbers there. Hope they don't spot me. And let's see what else. More mages, whatever. Ready about. <sighs> 28 turns done. Down to 27 turns to get this temple built. We're in a race against the clock here. Is this something I will be able to achieve? Possibly not. That's something I greatly fear. Why thank you neutral monsters for attacking Lichton? Congratulations! You have successfully researched a new spell, my lord. protection. Let's get... Clean the land, I guess. Any spell I research is generally good because it brings me closer and closer to researching the final spell, which is a method of winning the game. I have something to tell you. He's offering me an alliance for some mana... That's fine. I will accept your alliance because it means that you will not attack my units as they are trying to cross your territory. But, do not be sad when that alliance is going to inevitably be broken. Because as much as I love you, I don't really. Gold Ale is now mine, and those fortifications which were once his or hers, as the case might be, are now mine. Let's build up some forts in this place. Let's probably relocate that fort eventually later on and level up our vampires with some secret knowledge to and build up their resistances. Because as the game progresses onward, you'll find that traditional melee and Ranged resistances don't really count for much anymore. It becomes all about the 
I'm back. It becomes all about the resistances to magical attacks because that's what the enemies send against you. And it's extremely annoying. Yes, my lord. Okay, this might be done. I could be able to do it. And if it has a single hit point left, they are doomed. yep, it can be captured freely. So let's march our bats up and let's have them do something useful. Kidnap Lichton. And then I can laugh at them saying, ha ha ha. You got captured by a bunch of puny little bats. How does that make you feel? Pretty miserable, I'd bet. I'd feel pretty bad if I my town got kidnapped by a bunch of bats. Be kind of horrible. But Lichton is now mine, and I'm going to use that to increase my gold. Because at the moment I really do need some of that gold. That delicious, delicious gold. I'm running a bit low, and now that units are getting a bit more expensive, I'm going to need a steady income of it. Okay. Well, since we've kidnapped Goldale, let's see what kind of retaliation she's going to have to my half-hearted assault. Instead of defending herself, she's opted to try to attack me instead, which has worked out so well for her thus far. Yes, the computer is not very intelligent. Alright, with water walking under my boots, I should be able to send him straight happily walking on the water, just like an angry Jesus, straight across to the other island. Clear-eyed and ready. Aye. Send all the boats he's going to protect into the water, and... Clear-eyed and ready. What I might do is actually prepare another water walking spell to cast that on my chosen warrior. He's pretty valuable and useful yes. in a fight, so instead of, instead of having two guys, which one guy is responsible for protecting the boats, I could have two. And those neutral units which caused the NPC to have such terrible trouble. It's proving to be no difficulty for my units. At all. They do have some skeleton veterans, but since they can't attack flying units, my units are essentially safe from their relentless assault. Or rather, wishful assault. Let's rest up our two attackers and get ready to half-heartedly attack Spellhaven. Send our Rapnan robbers this way and march them onto here. The enemies haven't ex uh, gone out of their way to expand and grow their forces very much. Which is sort of why they're having this massive crisis at the moment. Since I took the effort to expand and grow my territory as much as possible, spread out all throughout my starting islands, kidnap my one soul. Uh, rivals hometown on this island and then immediately march on to declare war against everything else I'm in a really good position to win this I don't think at this point of the game there's anything the enemy can do the new spell research is complete and they keep sending any potential settlers which are going to go out and actually expand their territory into very dangerous land where they can be shot down at my leisure Now let's cast that on Mr. Fairly Swift and send him happily marching along the water as well. Okay, 
Let's take a peek on that island to see what is there. And since that area appears safe, I'm going to initiate my assault here. I guess. Research complete! Clean the land. Fantastic. What else have we got? Uh, lightning bolts? Why not? I prefer that over fire bolts because fire bolts do not go with my kind of game plan very well. Let's get a bank up in this place. To extract more gold from that natural gold resource and let's get a craftsman's district. I need as much money as I possibly can get in order to fuel my most expensive units. Aye, aye, Captain. Mages! Mages, healers, archers, transport cogs. All my units have disembarked upon the waterways, which means they're extremely vulnerable now. And instead of sending the stubborn knights over there, I'm going to have them march down here with the rest of my forces to eventually take hold of Spellhaven. I need to be very careful because Spellhaven is uh, size 11, which means that they, instead of shooting just a normal ranged attack against approaching assaulters it shoots this massive area of effect blast which just decimates all my forces with extreme prejudice let's kill those imps and march our skeletons up this way he needs to move out of my way he's my ally and everything but that island is mine i have set my sights upon it i will not tolerate any interruptions Go Bats, you can do it. Raja, I believe, if I remember correctly, actually you uh, worships a god called Lunord, which means that she's the god of the knights. And, yeah. She has a lot of abilities which gives her buffs to speed. Her units are very fast, they can get around from place to place very quickly. The new spell research is complete. And they're kind of a tricky to deal with, so when I eventually declare war on him, he may prove to be a little difficult, but I'm not terribly worried because I've got the money, gold, units, and size advantage. Although that has absolutely nothing to do with the defense of my main base. The uh, Basically, a quick way to just kill a unit is to take over their capital. Without a capital, they're useless. No matter how strong your units are, no matter how built up your forces are, if you just lose your capital, then it's over for you. You can't win. You're dead. It's done. Um, next turn I'll send those units down to attack. In the Candy Cane Workshop, which appears to be a gold generating place, I'm going to throw out some tax offices down to increase my income. Seems to be constantly beset by bears. Maybe I should do something about that soon enough. Possibly. I'm not worried about her sending her forces across the gulf. It should not be that dangerous. Okay. My cogs are nearly there and nearly prepared to disembark. So instead of moving the yes, guys up and provoking the earth elementals, what I might do is just keep them just outside of their range. Blade master. And then send them up in one decisive strike to kill them immediately. I'm not taking any risks with those greater earth elementals. Uh, just defend. You wish. 
I could send them across there, but I want them to defend at the moment. I'm scared of sending my skeletons there because then they might attack yes. them. What now? There can be no mistakes on this attack. No mistakes at all. Alright. Stand right here. And once we cycle through every single unit that we've got, we can finally end the turn. Why do you insist on mounting that single group of skeleton warriors up there? Are you deliberately trying to block me from my objective? If so, that's really annoying, and I really wish that you would not. Spellhaven is launching a massive area of effect attack. And as predicted, the Greater Earth Elementals managed to smash those group of ballsy skeleton archers in a single hit. Well done, Raksha. You are truly an asset to this alliance. Okay, let's just renegotiate our ships. And construct a new building here. I'd like to get some more gold income, so... A bat fort is a prerequisite to tax offices and so on. So I must build that. Food focused, or rather, no, not really. Let's get... Let's build a smithy. Paying a little bit of gold in turn upkeep is going to be pretty much paid for itself when all my units I generate there get a free perk. I just need to remember to build stuff there. My chosen warrior has taken some damage from the greater fire elemental, which means that my cover has been blown. We must attack immediately. I'm back. My blade master, move up. And attack the Greater Fire Elemental with one mighty strike! The more damage I deal to it, the less damage it can deal to me. Okay, I need to heal him. I need to heal him. So, prep a healing spell and throw it on. I'm moderately concerned about my elven archers, but if I move them just out of the range of the greater elemental's attack, then they shouldn't attack him. He's only got a range of two, which means that it should be safe there. Let's send some settlers into the water, and then disembark them on the other side. Everyone, march down to Spellhaven! Oh, goodness. That attack is going to be pretty worthless. So let's renegotiate attack to Fork with Fort Witch. It's time to pay. It's like a sandwich, only with forts. That was pretty much the worst attack ever. But it should not be a problem. Because I've got the money to waste. Train my flying galleys on those guys and send Mr. Skipper Morgans over here to assist in the assault. Uh, they moved in the way of his disembarkment, but whatever. Green bats. I'd like to make some headway on the island with the Holy Grounds. I'm su really surprised at the lack of physical defenders from Anna. 
She's... Oh, wait, here we go. She's mustered her forces and is ready to defend her lands against my assaults. Better late than never, Anna. Perhaps you can drive me back. Due to the condition of your forces, I'll say that's pretty unlikely. The Elemental's retreating! He's retreating! We got him on the run! And I did not even see those imps there! Which did a really cheap shot against my clerics and killed them in one blow! Screw you, Mr. Imps! Screw you! I'm going to get my revenge on you, you, uh, you jerks! How do you like that? Alright, let's move Mr. Highblade Master down here. And then perform a mighty Master Cleave on everything! Gosh. Yep, he knows how to get stuff done. We've got him on the ropes, everyone! Just a little bit more harassment and we can kill him. He still hasn't retreated. He's a very brave Mr. Greater Elemental. But his bravery will not save him. Um, in this place, I won't. I'm tempted to recruit some noble werewolves, but at the moment, I'm saving up for something even better. A Dracolich will be fantastic. A military gives me a military academy gives me access to magisters and healers, which are tier three mages and clerics. But I do not have the money for that. Useful, but my goodness, too expensive, too rich for my blood. At least at the moment. Ah, right, this is my food place. So let's build another farm. And let's construct a building in Sunville, which will probably be a... Oh, I've already got a shipyard. Let's build a caravel. No, let's save our money. Let's be really undecisive. Market. There, is there will be no peace, Anna. Your end is at hand. With my fantastic forces putting up a relentless assault on your guys. Lords of Night. You have no answer to anything I say, or rather, what I'm going to do. So, until you successfully drive me back, there will be no peace. Forward. Spellhaven's a little bit too nut tough of a nut to crack, so I'm going to direct my assault to the other place instead. Hey, there's no way him in his weakened state will be able to do enough damage to crush those elven archers, so I'm going to instead move them there. No, I'm not disembarking my elven archers there, not with those ogres in play. They can just get shot from my boat's ranged attack. Be careful of the demons. Make sure that another boat of spellcasters does not get needlessly thrown to the wind and see what every one of my rivals does. She's wasting her big ranged attack on trying to destroy my forts, which is not wise. It's something she could do, but I'd be more concerned about the warriors laying siege to Fort Wick. But she's very, very dedicated in taking care of that fort. Very admirable, but ultimately stupid. Oh, Mr. High Blade Master, you are so useful in destroying everything. Congratulations! You have successfully researched a new spell, my lord. 
Alright, so if I move my peasant settlers here, I can disembark them the next turn, the next turn where that earth elemental should be dead. He's only got four hit points left. He's actually retreating now. He's on the run. Let's move stuff around so it's in a bit of a more intelligent position. Yes, my lord. Disembark everything onto the islands, starting with my most valuable units. And then do the final devastating blow on that greater fire elemental. It looks like this quest will be mine after all. Let's waste a bit of money getting him some protection amulets because he's probably going to be the target of this greater fire elemental's attack. And any reduction to that 35 hit points worth of damage is going to be more than welcome. I believe it's elemental. It should be elemental. It is indeed elemental, so he should be okay. His elemental resistance reduces all damage by 50%, so we should only receive half damage from it from now on. I've researched great healing. I can now research regular weakness, and I get to construct even more buildings, which is actually proving to be a rather tiresome activity, which doesn't really really change that much. It doesn't make that much of a difference. Since she likes destroying forts so much though, I'm going to give her even more forts to destroy. Perhaps that'll keep her distracted from the real threat which is savaging her base. And those skeleton veterans are doing a really good job in keeping up the defense. Not much I can do to hurt them, it seems. Yeah! Go, Skipper Morgans! Prove your worth to me! Continue proving it! Let's give that Earth Elemental a nice juicy target to attack. And... I'll keep the peasant settlers there. Ready to pillage. All right, I'll disembark you down there now. Keep the green bats in the town to protect the base. And that's the end of the turn. The current situation of the map is I have infiltrated and assaulted Holy Ground Island with a massive force of my two heroes and a whole bunch of elven archers. The Earth Elementals, as strong as they are, cannot stand up to my relentless assaults. Looking at the map at the bottom right, it's easy to see who has the most coverage of the lands. My two rivals have three cities apiece, and I have... Lots and lots of cities, sprawled all out throughout the map. So, hopefully, the end of the game is going to be soon. Before I reach the end of the game, though, I'm going to visit the Mystic Portals, both of them, see what kind of grounds are within them, and see if I can absolutely crush them with the game's most strongest units. This will be fun. Anyway, as usual, thanks for watching. Join me next time where more slaughter in the name of jolly old Saint Nicholas takes place. And goodbye for now, everyone.